When building modern applications, especially those that serve different types of clients like mobile apps, web apps, or IoT devices, delivering a seamless user experience can be quite challenging. This is where backend for frontend or BFF pattern comes into play. Let's break it down. A common first step in supporting multiple UI types is to start with a single server-side API and gradually add more functionality to accommodate new mobile interactions. When different UIs need similar API calls, a general-purpose server-side API can work well. But mobile experiences often differ greatly from desktop web experiences. Mobile devices has less screen space, which limits data display. Additionally, opening multiple connections can drain battery life and data. Mobile interactions are also unique. Think of a retailer's app. On desktop, users browse and order, but on mobile, they might scan barcodes for price comparisons or receive an in-store offers. As we build more mobile apps, it's clear that their usage patterns differ significantly, requiring different functionality from our API backend. Mobile devices need few, more specific calls and display less data than desktops. And so our API must support these unique requirements. Another issue with the general purpose API is that it serves multiple user-facing applications, which can create bottleneck when rolling out new features. This can lead to the creation of a dedicated team to manage the API, which complicates things further. Front-end teams now lead to coordinate with this separate team, which balances multiple client priorities and works with various downstream teams. In essence, this turns the API into a complex piece of middleware straying from the principles of service-oriented architecture. The BFF pattern is a specialized service layer between your applications and your backend services. Each client, whether it's mobile app, a web app, or any other type of front-end, has its own dedicated backend service or BFF that caters specifically to its needs. In my previous video, I explained API Gateway pattern, but unlike API Gateway, which serves as a single entry point for all clients, the BFF pattern allows you to create tailored backends that meet the unique requirements of each client type. This not only simplifies client-side development, but also optimizes the performance and security of your application. Different types of clients often have distinct needs. Mobile apps may require lightweight data payloads to save on bandwidth and processing power. Web apps might need more detailed data or different formatting and IoT devices could require minimal data transfer but high frequency updates. With a BFF pattern, each client gets its own backend service, which can aggregate data from various microservices, format it specifically for that client, handle specific business logic or workflows needed by that client. This approach makes the front-end development much more straightforward, as the front-end teams only need to interact with their dedicated BFF, which handles all the complexities of the backend. At Netflix, instead of having one general purpose backend API that serves all clients, they use a separate backend for each type of client, be it Android, iOS, TV, or web. This means that each platform has its own dedicated backend service that's specifically designed to meet its unique needs. This approach allows Netflix to optimize the performance, user experience, and development process for each platform independently. So each client, whether it's Android app, iOS app, TV app, or web app, communicates with its own dedicated backend service. For example, the Android team at Netflix is not just responsible for the Android app. They also maintain the backend that app communicates with. This backend is finely tuned to handle Android specific requirements. And each BFF is responsible for orchestrating the communication between the client and the core backend services. It aggregates data from multiple microservices, formats it appropriately, and delivers it to the client in the most efficient way possible. And because each BFF is tailored to its specific client, it can implement unique features and optimizations. For example, the TV app might need to retrieve high-resolution thumbnails and video streams, along with a grid of content categories. The mobile app, however, might prioritize showing the latest episodes of a user's favorite shows with lower-resolution images to save on data. And the web app could offer more detailed filtering options, advanced search capabilities, and richer metadata. Netflix's use of BFF pattern brings clear benefits. Each BFF tailors data specifically for its client, optimizing delivery and boosting performance. Front-end teams can focus on building great user interfaces interacting with a single predictable API, while independent backends reduce cross-team dependencies. This approach ensures high-resolution content for TV, data savings for mobile, and advanced features for web delivering a smooth, customized experience across all platforms. Now, to implement the BFF pattern, you will typically start by identifying the different types of clients that interact with your system. For each client, you'll create a dedicated backend service that handles the data aggregation and formatting, implements any specific business logic needed by the client, and interacts with the core microservices or APIs to fetch the necessary data. 
This setup not only makes your front-end applications more efficient, but also allows for easier scaling and maintenance. You can update or scale each BFF independently without affecting the others. Now, when delivering a consistent user experience across different platforms, two common approaches are observed. One approach is to have a dedicated BFF for each type of client, ensuring that each platform, such as different mobile operating systems, has its own tailored BFF. Another approach is to use a single BFF for multiple user interfaces, such as both Android and iOS version of mobile application sharing the same BFF. While this can simplify development, it also carries the risk of the BFF becoming more overloaded with multiple responsibilities as more clients are added. In cases where the same team manages both version of the application and the BFF, a shared BFF model can work effectively. However, when different teams are responsible for the applications, having separate BFFs is often the preferred strategy. Ultimately, the structure of the organization plays a significant role in determining which approach is more suitable. The BFF pattern is a powerful strategy for optimizing your microservices architecture, especially when dealing with multiple client types. By providing each client with a tailored backend service, you can streamline data delivery, simplify front-end development, and create a more responsive and maintainable system. Whether you are building an e-commerce platform, a streaming service, or any other application with diverse clients, the BFF pattern can help you deliver a better user experience.